What's going on dudes, it is Colossalus here, welcome back to another video. Today we are uh, doing something a little different. Today we are starting a new playthrough of one of my favorite superheroes, Batman. And this is the game by Telltale Studios or Telltale Games, I think that's, that's what they're called. I've been there, uh, not a fan, but just, you know, just fan of their games since uh, the first Walking Dead came out. I really love that. Uh, the second one, I really, I really didn't play all that much, so I can't really say. Um, game of Thrones was a little, little, bit, little bit of a letdown, but then I'm coming back to this game hoping for a nice thrill. <clears throat> the, f the first two episodes have been released, and then the third one is coming out in something like two, three, four, no, four days, around four days. It was on the 25th. And so we're going to start with the first episode and just play it all the way through them. So let's go. So we can choose the color of our hood, and that's going to be purple. I don't know why, it's just purple. Damn! God damn! Shut the fuck up, man. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? We'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Under the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Here's Bat. And there's our color, purple Carl. Color. Hello. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Shit! Well, they didn't, they didn't hear all like the loud bang from the window. Hello. 
Gotcha. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's like a it's like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I mean, they're not dead, so it's, so it's all fine. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Right in the face. God damn. Almost. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Didn't you oh, come on. Knock? It's the cat. Behind you, big boy. Come back here. Stay where you are. You're under arrest. Yeah, sure. See you later. Uh, I love Batman. I used to love him as a kid. If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. And let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Hmm. Right in the face. Who cares? She's a woman.
This game is all quick time events. Damn, that's wrestling match right there. Oh my god. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. You fucker. Got him. Go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. I missed a couple of the quick, quick shots. What the fuck? God damn it! Don't shoot. Why the fuck would you? Oh god. No. Wait. <laughs> Pressed it, but it didn't. <laughs> Let's dive after. Gotcha. Now what? Oh, we're gonna use her gadget. Gotcha. wrong about you catching me not sure if it was for my sake or yours don't struggle or you'll fall oh, but that's what you crave the struggle I know men like you bye bat <laughs> right, she'll be fine Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. <laughs> Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Well then. Let the job begin. Time to save the city. A real job. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Sh well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together. We will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne. Thank so you I for think Dent is the later Two Face, if I if I remember correctly. Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, 
So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. All right, somebody's coming. I see this is similar to Walking Dead, but there is no like free walking as there there was in like in this kind of halls in Walking Dead. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course, I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent. We believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Good. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilance. And he's thinking of something right in front of him. The wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. There is always blunt, hope. It's like we have oil on plan. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank yeah, man. Thank you we both. got that vote, though two votes, man. That's uh, that's a start. We only need, we only need, huh. we only need about you, like two million more. Better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh well, hello. 
Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. Yeah. But how are you doing? I'm fine. You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Just between us, politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words, not enough action. Yep. Didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> he knows you better than the kid. Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Okay. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. Yep. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. <laughs> Not in my cars to play nice, you know, boy. I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Come on, Falcon. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I don't care, I guess, to remember that. I mean, yeah, I'm a, I'm a host. I'm supposed to greet everybody who comes to the house. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. 
I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Chalk it yourself, you bitch. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? I can be a host, but not okay, suck your imagine. dick. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. I do. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Mm-hmm. Sure. I don't take threats. I make them. And that's Batman. That was, that was the intro. Telltale series. Alright, we're gonna finish the first episode right there. As soon as we can pause. Sometime in the, in the near future. There we are. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave that like rating. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace on the motherfucking streets. Bye!